A hailstorm with flood waters covered in flood waters. The world is burning. Our only home is in danger from years and years of ignorance and neglect. What will the state of the earth be in 30 years? Hi, my name is Patch and I'm concerned about our climate. I've noticed our climate changing intensely over the past few months and recently the gas leak which caused the fire in Mexico's Gulf made me all the more worried. Because of this, I'm curious to find out if anyone is doing anything about it and if there's hope for the future. Hello Dr. Matthew, to start off, could you just please explain to me what is climate change? Climate change can happen and does happen for natural reasons, but the big difference with climate change that's happening now is that humans are causing it, mostly through lots of different activities that add greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, and these gases have warming properties. Scrolling through Instagram, I stumbled upon a permaculture farm that could answer some of my questions about how climate change affects people working on the ground. So climate change affects many areas and it's also worse it affects the food security. As a mother, I'm very concerned about this because I have kids, you know. So looking in the context of farming, many farms use degenerate like farm practices that disturb this natural cycle and damage the foundation of life. And in farming, that is the soil. Malaysia is involved in a climate crisis. Not many people are aware because many of us are not directly affected by it, but the worst is yet to come if we don't do anything. So we are actually experiencing the impacts of uh, heat waves uh, are more frequent. I think everyone living in this country has experienced this form of you know, heat waves, I think the direct consequences are heat strokes and death. It's, it's also wide scale and long term. So uh, we see this in the elderly, children, women, and those with existing chronic diseases. So all of this thing adds more pressure to the health sector. So we're actually living on borrowed sunlight or stored sunlight. So that energy is energy stored sunlight from millions of years ago. So, kita punya sunlight storage tak banyak sangat sekarang ni. Now, the only thing left is to know whether it's too late for change. Well, it's not that Malaysia is doing nothing at the moment. Uh, there are good efforts going on, but we need to do more, I think. So, it's a cumulative problem. Okay, every extra bit of CO2 or other greenhouse gas that we add to the atmosphere gives us a bit more warming. So, it's like an analogy, a bucket that we're slowly dripping water into and it's slowly filling up. Um, the, the water filling up is like the warming of the, the climate. Uh, and so it means every avoided bit of emissions does avoid a very small amount of climate change. Everything that we do can have some impact. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. Uh, the next best time is now. So um, Kami is actually a, like I said, climate justice group. Uh, we were actually born, was born on the streets. We were doing climate strikes back in 2019. And um, since then, we have pivoted into uh, doing, um, you know, advocacy, uh, capacity building. I think uh, there's a lot of people that's been saying, telling me like, oh, why are you doing this? We're not going to make it anyway. So, but I, 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 some, I, I owe it to, to the, the next generation, you see. So, I, we, we must do something. But I also know that um, we also have the solution to, to this. We, we can also create problem, but because our problem, we are part of the problem. We are also the solution to regenerate new ways of, of doing things, of growing things, of caring for, this, uh, for the earth. To just add up on Kebun Rahmat, like, it's also uh, not just a farm. It's also a learning from that. That is our intention mm. to make Kebun Rahman is a place for people can learn and also, you know, share knowledge and share skill to grow food ethically with nature using, you know, uh, good practices so that we don't damage the land. The earth is our only home. With everything that's going on, it might seem discouraging, but at the end of the day, we can and should be hopeful because we're in this together. So if we start taking care of the earth, 
it will take care of us too.